Hey guys, it's Penny, and today is August. Look at the date because I don't want Shaman getting back on me about my dates being wrong. The 21st of August is day 53 um, after I found the lump on my right breast. Um, I need some prayers. I know my hair looks crazy today, but I don't care. So, a couple of things and updates. So, I had the, the clear bill of health that the cancer is not metastasized. And yesterday, around 3 o'clock, I got a call from the radiologist that stated that my PET scan, which we asked for from the beginning, that the insurance company denied because it's a very expensive um, test that's highly accurate. It shows even the smallest pebble size growth anywhere in your body. It's like those Star Trek things that goes whoop, to your whole body. And that, it got approved. So, um, at first, I was like, nope. I'm not going like they gave me the clean bill of health. I'm not going. But then I realized, you know, I was on the phone with her and I just really just God just started ministering to me, letting me know I want to get a baseline. You always want to have a baseline of where your starting point is. So God willing, that's a clean bill of health for the PET scan. Um, it doesn't affect my chemo treatment. I'm still getting chemo, but it would affect the type of drugs that I would get because if something's really small. That means it's in stage zero or stage one and you kill it. Didn't show up on the CAT scan. So we're not even claiming anything like that. But it also will show through my other scans ongoing how my body is healing and responding. So I'd rather do everything now than wait five months later and say, oh, that round of chemo didn't work. We got to start all over again. No, I'm looking forward to February 2016. So I'm a little bit frustrated today because... Before I get the echo, before I get the chemo started, I've got to get three things done. I've got to get a port put in so the chemo drugs can be administered because my veins are too small, as I said before. Um, and that can be done through local anesthesia, even though it's placed under the skin. But at the same time, we want to rule out that what they saw in the lymph nodes that was cancer. My oncologist wants to really know whether or not it's cancer or not or inflammation because I swell up under my arms naturally. Um, and it could be something else going on and not necessarily cancer that the MRI contrast picked up. It could have been picked up some inflammation and bacteria. So, or infection or something. I don't know. It was something else. Anyhow, so I have to schedule that as a surgery. So I had to call my surgeon who diagnosed the breast cancer to get the port put in and the lymph node biopsy. Then I have to call the, for echocardiogram. So I got a prescription for echocardiogram, which I need before they can administer the first dose of the chemo, even if I have a port in, to make sure that my heart can take the chemo medicines because the chemo medicines can do damage to your heart valves. So I'm going to get the echo done on Monday as long as they can get the pre-authorization done for it prior to Monday because no one told me on Wednesday Hey, we need a pre-off. And the woman at the office who does it got sick on Wednesday and hasn't been back in. So someone else is taking it over today. So I'm going at 1.30 in about an hour to go meet at the American Cancer Society's um, Cedar Nose office to get um, look at some wigs and look at some lace fronts as an option in the event that I decide to use that for or a resource, you know, so for hair because the chemo drugs... 80% of the patients get, lose their hair, have alopecia. No hair, no eyebrows, no eyelashes. So I'm just a little frustrated because of all the things I got to coordinate myself. And there really needs, a better, needs to be a better way for people who are going through this. Because not every woman, I'm not really as strong as everybody thinks I am. Because I mean, I had my moments and I have them. But, you know, we, there really needs to be a system and a navigator to help people. Because this is ridiculous. It really is. I could be still be rocking back and forth in the corner somewhere in denial. I mean, if I have to, you could still deal with the breast cancer and keep on turning it over. Prescription, prescription, prescription. It's too much. So one of the things I want to do is that when my total healing has come to manifest it in a physical sense, because it's already done in a spiritual sense, because God said it is well, and that this will not be unto death, that I can set up something to help women to navigate through this because the calls. She not, might not even be able to make the calls. She might still be in denial. It's just too much. And today I'm just a little bit frustrated. So just pray for me. I just, Rusa, calm down. 
and just get it done. I'm almost there to start the chemo. And then that's just step one. Okay, Penny, there you go. See, I'm already thinking about the breast surgery. It's just too much. It's too much. Whew, pray for your girl. Love you guys. Survivor mode.